Hello everybody, Zach here and welcome back to a mod showcase. And I'm gonna do a chase me then too, but I'm gonna show off these vehicles first because I think they deserve it. 1958 Chevrolet Apache. This is a pack. This is a GTA 5 Classics pack and I love basically everything they do. So I have no doubt that we're not gonna be let down. Um, that was a weird sentence. But look at this. We got a Chevrolet Car Parts and Accessories General Motors Co. Dealership in San Andreas. Sick. And that old style number. Um, this, These look like they're straight out of L.A. Noir. They look so cool. And there's some different options on them that I will show you some of. Which we've got a van. Um, which is very much so like, you know, how station wagons basically were what transformed into station wagons. We've got the truck body. Um, you know, the utility body, which looks really cool too. And then we've got good old, what, fleet side truck. I think actually it should say it on it. Yeah, fleet side. Look at how detailed these are and look at how sick they look. Uh, don't know about the accuracy of the colors. Um, I picked ones that I thought looked good. Good. They have a little bit of wear on them, what have you. There's just a bunch of cats meowing around here outside the abandoned hotel over here. What's going on? I wish you could pet the uh, animals in GTA 5. Um, anyways, uh, yeah, these are sick looking and they do have some options. So we'll go into the fleet side first because I think it has some really cool options that you might want to check out for yourself. Uh, link will be in the description, of course, if you want to download this pack. I have, full disclosure, downloaded it and converted it into, um, converted it to use it in 5M. So if things are broken, it may be that. It may also be the pack. I do not want to go into there. I want to go into extras and check out some of these extras. Some of them, I don't know what they're doing. Obviously, that's adding in uh, some boxes and, oh, it fills out the bumper there that too. Okay, good to know. We got a speed limit sign and uh, some, some gas cans. This I love. We get the wood boards on the top and we get some tires in the back as well as that same option with crates. This one's really cool. And I'm going to hop out and show it to you in first person because... It actually adds some propane in the back, says Morrison's propane, and adds a little beacon on the top. I don't believe, you know, functioning beacon, but still really cool nonetheless. Is there anything to the back? No. So, yeah, like I said, this is pretty sick, has some pretty sick extras. And uh, what else is in here? Uh, that's only five. Oh, yeah, we got it. I didn't even see this one yet. <laughs> got some pallets, which, you know, by the way, nowadays are, are worth their weight in gold. Uh, I do not know what that's changing. I think that might be changing. Oh, we got something up there. Okay. And same deal. I do not know what this is changing. But yeah, some really, really cool options on this vehicle. And something might be changing on the interior, to be honest. But what do you guys think? I think I'm... I w it'd be really cool if the propane was... I feel like that would be a big target inside of a chase me. I think we're just going to do the... Uh, one of these, yeah, either that. Yeah, we're gonna do that. We'll do the the couple couple wood uh, boxes and a bucket. And uh, same deal, I'm gonna go check this out. This is Creek Brown in a worn Creek Brown because I feel like a truck like this, it's appropriate if it was in like a worn paint color, if you will. Um, and same deal, this has some extras. I don't know what that's changing. This is obviously that. <laughs> okay. Again, oh, we got some conflictings. Okay, we'll just leave that. Uh, I don't think there's really anything else with this, but yeah, like I said, another really, really detailed model. And I don't know, man, these old Chevys, they look so good. Broke my Chevy to the levee and I can't get over this. I feel like we might, even though I want to run in the truck, we might have to run in this first and then maybe run in the truck because this, this thing looks, it's just so cool looking. And again, we've got some different options here. We got the roof rack. We can turn that on or off if we want. I think this is just stuff in the back. That's a pallet in the back instead of, I think, car parts is what's in it right now. And then we got some different light options. That's so cool. We're running in this today. I just decided it. <laughs> I'm on the fly like that. We are going to run in this because I don't, I can't get over how cool it is. It looks cool. It'll look cool, but this is just really classic for me. So... Let's do it. Let's get into a chase. And I wish I had retro vehicles in. And I do not. I couldn't find anything that was a real pack from around this era. Also, this thing is going to be slow. Not that I expected. Oh, man, that turning. GTA 5 Classics, those guys always make 
um, some really awesome, more on the realistic side handling uh, physics. And I really do appreciate that. They're really cool. Like this, you know, obviously has like floatiness to it, but still it's weighted in GTA 5's world. So it doesn't, you know, just, it's not, it's not so realistic that it's a complete impossible, uh, completely impossible to drive. Oh, those brakes are, well, probably what they would be like. All right, let's go ahead. I'm going to record this for a little bit because I think I can get some awesome shots. It's already getting dirty. Oh man, this thing is a boat, but we're going to get two stars here to start this off. If you haven't been here for a chase me before, well, what are you doing? Why are you <laughs> finding me on this? No, but we, we get stars. We run from the cops. We see how long we can last. We try to usually get into the military base. Again, I don't know if this vehicle's going to be able to do that, but hope you're having a great day. Oh, so far, so not so good. And we're already getting shot at by this cop in the Sandy Shores um, Medical Center and police station there. Um, I, uh, oh, see what? Last chase, they were not nearly this aggressive. And they want to destroy this thing? You know, that's just wrong. Then again, I'm, I'm doing a chase me in it, so I'm going to inevitably destroy it. Oh, man, that front end's already pretty banged up. Um, but yeah, if you, I mean, chase me is what it is. Oh, coyotes, don't get hit. Oh, wow. I can't believe he avoided that coyote. Also, if you haven't heard the news yet, uh, I'll put it up in the corner and check out that full time video. If you want to see, uh, want to see that info on what's going on with the channel and what I'm excited about because I'm very excited to be full time on YouTube. And uh, with that being said, I got to plug that too. If you want to come over to Patreon or hit that YouTube join button below, that would really help me out as well as you'll get early access to videos exactly like this one and some behind the scenes stuff too. I really appreciate everybody that supported me thus far. It's been crazy. Uh, Oh, man, that'd be cool if we had an old Chevy like that. I mean, we have that. Oh, yo, yo, yo. Oh, we're going to die for a second there. But what does like, this bring back memories of? I know it sounds weird. You know, I was not alive in the 50s, 60s, 70s, or 80s. <laughs> but um, there is, you know, this almost fake nostalgia for this type of, you know, these types of vehicles. And I know that that sounds weird. Maybe it's... You know, I think people love them that lived in that era too, of course, but I think there's almost like this, oh, wow, this thing's actually doing pretty well. Um, but yeah, I think there's just this nostalgia, even if you didn't know it, you know, even if I don't, I don't think I've ever, for instance, seen one of these in person and I've seen a lot of old Chevys. I know a guy that has a lot of old, old Chevy trucks and everything, and he loves them. Um, <clears throat> they're really simple to work on too, because there's nothing... There's nothing really under the hood. Oh, wow. They're really doing a good job of avoiding the wildlife. That's very surprising. The wildlife's not really good at avoiding you usually. And usually they come out and I swear they want, they're, I swear that they're coding to hit you or have you hit them kind of thing. You know what? Maybe we'll try to get this in the military base, to be honest. I just didn't think, yeah, there's a lot of wildlife. See, 5M too. I feel like keeps getting updated where it keeps adding in more stuff that was in multiplayer, but also in single player. And I think sometimes that's, oh, are these guys going to see me and re? Yep, they are. Okay. I was trying to figure out if they were going to technically see me and then I'm just going to get my stars back on me. And it, and it does appear that they did do that. With the military jeeps coming after me. This thing is not very fast on the dirt either. Again, no surprise. They lost visual. Oh, come on. Come on, speed out. Oh, we might lose too. I'm gonna go down here. Oh, there's that classic hiss that happens every once in a while. Am I gonna avoid that? Yes. Oh, yes. I mean, mind you, I'm cheating with the mini map, but who cares? I just love that the suspension, just like the way that it just, ah, and I would have been just destroying the suspension in this old thing. All right. We're just going to hang out here for a second, see if we lose them. I think we might. Yes, we did. All right. What do you guys think? I'm going to, 
you know what? I'm going to give myself a survival chance here. I'm going to fix my vehicle first. And then I'm also going to give it a little bit more tur torque, Turks, Turks and Hirschpurs and see if I can get into the military base. I'm just going to do 16. I know that seems like a lot, but GTA, that's not, I feel like that actually might just give us enough power to have a somewhat of a chance that I do. I keep disabling the plane turbulence. Stupid. It's stupid. Yeah, there we go. Oh, this thing. This thing's really going to rip. Oh, yeah. Oh, look at that. I'm already dented in the front end. Perfect. Oh, yeah, this thing. Well, I wouldn't say it rips, but it's better than what it was. Let's just say that. Oh, God. This is the move I usually do, and it is... Yeah, let's go. All right, what do you guys think? <clears throat> we'll make it in? I think we have a chance. I think, uh... Oh, yeah, definitely with this modification. Oh, my God, this thing doing a hundred and something would be scary as hell. Oh, we're going to go over. Oh, no, 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 no. <gasps> Land. Oh, no. Oh, shoot. I was not wearing my seat. Felt as you can witness. Okay, we got to get stars. And uh, I should have been wearing my seatbelt. Seatbelt on for safety. Oh, look at that rear end. I probably should give myself four stars. I'm in the military base. Let's do that, actually. Oh, God. I, I also should probably remove the unbelievably fast torque and power multiplier. Oh, hold on to her. Oh my God. Did we even, we didn't even go in the interior really, did we? Oh, that's so sick. Ooh. Oh my God. And so much scarier when you're in first person and that happens. They are just unloading on me. Ooh. This is rough. I should have maybe kept the multiplier. Multiplier? Markiplier, am I right? Why am I driving into here? What am I doing? I'm killing, I'm gonna die. What did I, what was I thinking, Zach? Oh, can I go through here? Go, 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 go. Oh, poor Chevy. This Chevy's not gonna be going to the levee, that's for sure. I'm gonna die. That's also for sure. We're gonna give ourselves back the power. You know what? We're going to take on the tanks, and I feel like I'm going to need it. Oh, I feel like I'm going to need it. And a brake upgrade, though, too. Hi, guys. What's going on? Oh, no. Waiting for the tanks. I don't see tanks. I don't hear tanks. Where are the tanks? You got to be kidding me. They didn't deploy a tank? They were like, we can't destroy a classic. Well, we're going to get out. Yeah, did we cheat? Yes, very much so. Oh, losing everything. Wait, where's the guy that usually defends this? I see defends, but <laughs> guards it. No clue. Okay. So we got out of the military base. Now, mind you, we are in a very souped up Apache, but... And a very damaged Apache. Oh, no, no, no. See, this is where it just turns into a spin fest. And I would like it not to be. Wow, lots of cops. No, 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 no. Trying to avoid them. Oh, God. Where would the hell did that car come from? Why were they on the side of the cliff? Oh, no, we're dead. We're dead. Oh, it's so loud. Go, 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 go down off the cliff with him. Oh, we're so dead. We're so dead. Oh my god, here they come. Here they come. Oh my god. Oh, come on up there. Oh, screw it. We're gonna do it. Where did we did it? Alright, sorry to ruin your, your barbecue, but that one person that looked like they were running from it. And these helicopters are not gonna give me up. Wow, we're really going down to the uh, the base of the V. Oh, look at this. It looks like a boat. Who would have thought? 
I would have thought this Chevy truck would turn into a boat. Oh, no. Oh, that's cool. It's very warped, but it's cool. I always wonder if a mod creator thinks like, hey, you know, this is likely what they're going to do with it. You know, I mean, I know that they're putting it into GTA, but like, do you think that they have this thought that it's going to just get completely annihilated in my video? At least I showed it off and it's a nice day. Yikes. Well, that is how they do things around here. Why do they do that? They just make sure. And then they all disappear when I revive it. Don't know what that's about. I wish that that actually kind of didn't happen, but whatever. Wow. Down to the bare metal in here in this uh, chase me. Well, guys, it was fun. And this was, I feel like a good one considering I still got the modifications and I'm going to keep them on. Oh, look how much vehicle came back after that repair. That repair. Uh, and I immediately almost rolled it. Um, like I said, though, I enjoyed it. Hope you had a great time as well. And uh, if you want to see more videos like this, please subscribe to the channel. Please like the video. Let me know what you guys want to see. As well as, of course, got to say it again. Come over to the Patreon slash the uh, slash the <laughs> slash the YouTube join button if you want to get early access, behind the scenes, and more. Really appreciate it, guys, and I hope to see you in the next one. Bye.